Improvements have been made to the comparison analysis functionality within PowerShape 2015. We can now compare any 3D object with another 3D object, any 3D object to a 2D object and vice versa, and any 2D object to another 2D object. For example, I can compare this mesh to a 2D surface, so I'll just demonstrate that. So what I can do is create a surface using the Mesh Segment tool. I'm going to select my mesh, go into the manual mode, and select some of these triangles on my flat plane. So I want to reduce the angle, so I only have triangles selected on that plane. Once I'm happy, I can right-click to preview, I get told to fit, and I can right-click to accept. And close that down now and you can see that I've got my surface created like so. Now what I'm going to do is select both of these and go into the comparison analysis functionality. So we've always been able to compare a mesh to a flat plane or surface. And we can go into the tools here and we can change the maximum value of error range. So we can change this to 15 for example and it's going to change our dynamic shading like so. I'm just going to set that back to 1. We can also view this in uh, curve deviation mode. So I'll just toggle across to that. And you can see our deviations are now shown with lines. We can edit these if we go into our options. Width of error lines. If I just change this to quite a high number of 5, you'll see the thickness changes like so. Again, I'm just going to switch that back and say OK. So I'm just going to hide these and I'm going to compare a mesh to a solid. So what I'm going to do is go into my comparison analysis mode, I can select my source to be my solid, select my target to be my mesh and I can say calculate. And you can see we get the deviations shown using this shading like so. I can also toggle on to viewing in the curve mode. And finally what I'm going to do is compare two curves. So I have two curves here. You can see that we've got this curve here has been created from my mesh. This curve here has been created from my solid and I'm just going to select comparison analysis mode. We've got our source selected, select the target to be our mesh, then we can say calculate. And here we can see that this time we can only view in the curve deviation mode, but we get the deviations between both of our curves. We can bring up a dialogue showing all of the information about that deviation if we so wish.